Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about Make Series. Uh, make Series uh, can be used uh, to create series of specified aggregated values uh, along a specified uh, axis. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, here uh, I have a total sale table uh, with the sum of sale person, first name, last name, item sold, and sold date. Uh, these are the two columns that we will be using it. Uh, now what we have here, I have already. Let me create this table, and then uh, we will insert the data. So I have the data across the year 2015 and 2014. Uh, actually, I believe I have only for 2015, you can see right there, okay. Yeah, there, no, there is one couple of records for 2014 as well. Now what we can do, we can simply select the table name and execute and it's gonna show us uh, all the data what we have here. We have item solds, we have sold price and we have sold date right there and uh, across uh, different uh, countries and regions. Uh, now. How you will write this uh, query to make series though? You will say your table name and then your choice in the same line or you can go to the next line and uh, provide the pipeline, pipe sign, then say make series. Though. Then uh, you're gonna provide the name of the column. In my case, I'm providing a total item sold. That's a new column I would like to create. Uh, equal to sum. So I'm using some aggregate function here and say an item sold. So these are the items sold. And if uh, there is not a value provided for specific day or, um, uh, for this series I'm looking for, then uh, just default with zero and on sold date. So I'm doing sum on item sold and with default value zero on sold date. And if the value will be there, then we'll be present presenting that value. And uh, we are saying from Yes, then uh, I'm providing a date range here. So I'm saying that from date, uh, starting from this date to this date. Um, and then uh, I'm saying step. Uh, and then uh, in this step, I'm providing uh, the interval. Uh, so it is the one day. And then I'm grouping by region. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, how this is going to make a nice series for us. Um, so see right there, uh, it is creating a series uh, of total items sold. So see right there for Europe, it sold uh, I uh, two items here then it sold uh, 14 items uh, and uh, in the in North America three items there and uh, in uh, Asia you can see that uh, one two five these are the items sold uh, now if I will scroll uh, on the right side what's gonna happen that's where it is uh, showing me sold date so let me bring it close and see how it work right there okay so you can see this is uh, our total sum of those values and this is for our sold data. So sold data starting from here, you can see that uh, three, one, and then uh, three, two, three, four, three, five, because our interval is one day. So this is creating a, a series of uh, our values and with the data. So this might not be really useful for you. You will say like, okay, I have these all values, what I'm gonna do with that? Now, this can be very powerful when you are going to use uh, with the sum uh, charting. Uh, so we can render these uh, series into the uh, time charts or some other charts, whatever works for you. Now, same uh, uh, data what we have here, and uh, then uh, I can actually change. Let's use 14 as well, okay? And there is nothing whole lot that we change here. Just the date is different from here, it's all right. And I can say render time chart. So let's execute and see what happened. Now, it gave us the two things. First, the same table what we have seen before. And then, actually, let me take this guy uh, because that day with the data. Or you can simply put actually render with the time here. So right there. Now let's execute because I have shown you that data right there. Okay, so that will make it actually easy for you. Remember, we have we were seeing that data here. So here you can see that uh, on the uh, in the region North America. So March third, you can see that right there, and uh, there is some value two items sold. Then we have uh, here in North America April two time few things sold. Then we have uh, April eight uh, Europe. So you can see the color coding here. So which one are Europe, North America and all that. So you can hover your mouse there and it will just show you that data. And also the timeline is right there. So you can see the dates and all that. So this is very actually helpful when you are performing some report in a, and it, this, this is tons of data you have when you need to present in a graphical uh, format. Let's go to table and you can see right there. So you see right there, zero to value 
So if we go further and take a look right there, so which one? 0, 2 right there. See, that's what it is. Okay? Now, what you can do, you can further play with this, and there are tons of things you can do. Now, in the total series, let's say if I don't want to, I'm going to present more data. In the last one, we just use sum. And uh, in this case, we can also use average. So see here, we're use, using a sum, and then say in default 0, you can say comma then, and have another aggregation there. So here I'm saying uh, 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 average item sold. And still, uh, if there is no values for that, uh, then I can say default on sold data from this uh, date to another date. Now, I can also go change some uh, maybe date. So I will, I'm saying for 30 days. So let's execute that query and see what it returns. So here it is, uh, as we group by the region and country, now you can see that total item sold here. And uh, we have 30 day uh, interval, so you are gonna see values right there. And uh, then uh, we have average items, um, so, so you are gonna see the values right there. So there are two columns. Uh, and here is your sold data. So this is actually, as I was saying, uh, this is very, very useful data and powerful function to use it. But uh, if we will be able to display this whole thing in the chart, that will change the whole reporting perspective so I'm gonna go ahead and execute as a total with the rendering as a chart so you see right there such a beautiful report is ready for you and right away you can tell which country has sold the most items and which region so see right there that's Europe and the most items sold were in the uh, France okay so now also you can see right there there are item total items sold and there is average item sold so you can have, uh, there are two charts uh, with the different, uh, you know, values uh, you can uh, display and you have country and region right there, okay? So this is a very helpful uh, to see, especially when you are rendering to the charting, uh, that uh, really helps a lot. Uh, I hope uh, you learned something uh, good out of this uh, series and uh, please go ahead and subscribe my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Put the script uh, in the description so you can use for your testing. Uh,